Yeah. No. That's the that's the funnier version of the the Blade Runner quote. Mm. And the dude's like all these me when the robot finds out that he can't uh, get more life, as all these memories will be lost like tears and rain. Mm. And I think it would have been funnier if he had said cocaine and snow or yeah cocaine and snow. I agree. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Robot cocaine. It, I mean, they're like, you know, they're Regular like... Type. Like, they're... Yeah, they're, no, they're, ghost type. No. I feel like they're, uh... They're artificial. They're not, like, inorganic, though. True. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like cocaine would absolutely right. work they're on androids, a replicant. not robots. Right. Like, if you... It is. If, you bust, if you bust them open, they don't have, like years and shit inside you know they're not like out here pouring gasoline into themselves you know what i mean i wonder what they dream about <laughs> <laughs> probably more life that's a cold now that's a cold up hey what's going on have you ever wondered you ever been with your boys and you ever been choring Something like that. That's a cold opening. Nailed it. That is definitely oh, a good that? cold opening. Uh, from um. Heard your sweetie from cheating Letter on Kenny. you, buddy. <laughs> it's the first two minutes I show anybody if I'm trying to show. I'm like, hey, do you like this two minutes of video? If yes, yeah. you'll so, like Letter Kenny. I've got At least the first you. couple of seasons. That one and the alphabetical. Uh, yeah. Whatever, whatever the hell you call that. Well, uh, the cold open. Cold that's, the, that's the cold, well, cold open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The alphabetical that's cold the, open. But like, there's a. Uh, oh god damn it! I wish my brain I'm wasn't to think of one full too. of holes. It's like. I know it's called an alliteration when right. it's, uh, you know, a bunch of words in sequence that begin with the same letter. But there's another more specific word when you do it with a bunch of words that go through the alphabet. Oh, it's, it's, it's like a specific word, and I, I can't think of what it is. And I'll be goddamned if I'm going to type that into Google. Because <laughs> the internet definitely thinks I'm an insane person enough already. <laughs> All right, just the song a is cool. Music check. How's the music sound? Spooky. The only thing sounds I like can remember sounds like Castlevania in here. From the more detailed alliteration thing is him just saying, "Okay, Mr. Muay Thai." <laughs> yeah, they're good. There's probably yeah, probably a lot of people that have that memorized. It's probably a good thing to have, yeah, I like that. I'm trying to, I, I was trying briefly, I, I stopped, but I was trying briefly to uh, memorize uh, Willem Dafoe's curse from the lighthouse. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's awesome. It's not... Kirsty! Kirsty Winslow! Mark Triton. Alright, should we get, should we get on a stream and uh, check out our audio levels? I think the stream's up. It is. Audio levels? Does somebody check the audio levels? Make sure that everything sounds good. I'm um, on it currently. Hell yes. Be right back. Everyone, uh, everyone hit me with some check checks. I'm on it currently. I'm talking to you. I'm going to hit you with some you. deep bass bumps. Deep bass bumps. I'm Pong Chomsky and I talk like this. I'm the fruit and berry and I talk like this. Golden. Cool. All right, so let's uh, let's get a rocking and a rolling. Let me pull up roll twenty. Got a lot of stuff going on today. Yeah. So I'm gonna be hundred percent honest. I uh, forgot that Paul wasn't gonna be here, so I spent all day uh, working on some good shit with the um, with Burn Bright, but. If we want to 
make this happen, I've put some things together for Return to uh, Deep into the Nightmare, where we are playing some 5e characters. So, what's up, everybody? Welcome. We are How to Kick Flip a Horse. Uh, did you guys see, by the way, the AI I made? Did you all get a chance to see that wild, the AI represent, representation of How to Kick Flip a Horse? No, no I, I remember. I, I, I have I, no I, idea what you're talking about. Yeah, what? I you popped it in the chat. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you did. Right, right, right. You, yeah, you it, mentioned it's that you, here. you got it. You did not share it, though. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's, it's on the inconsequential space yeah. egg. You guys should oh, definitely no check shit. that out. Okay, what I see this, this now. MP4. What am I, I said that in the chat there? to tell you guys to go to Discord and oh, check it out. This is nuts. So the first I one... Saw, so I saw Paul say, how did you dose me with LSD through the interwebs? And I just laughed at it. Because I thought that was just a funny non sequitur. But I, didn't, a... I didn't realize that that's what these things were. That's, that's awesome. Should I play it on stream? Can I? Yeah, do hey, it. You should definitely play that on stream. Will it play? It might not pick up on this stream is... now. I don't know how it would pick up. Uh, the only way to pick up on it? stream is yeah, you can either Whoa. download it and play it in something else. Is there audio? Oh, that's good, idea, too. Uh, there's no audio no, now. So. It's just oh, the trippiness. No audio. Okay. Just a trippy little video. Yeah, I like that one for our intro, the for, <laughs> the top one. Yeah, it would be cool to like um, <clears throat> have it like have it do its weird scrolling thing, and then at the very end, like over the, for lack of a better term, horizon, the uh, the text comes of the title. Mm -hmm. Be cool. The bottom one's really cool too. I like what the what the bottom one looks like. Although I asked them both to be landscape. But anyways, this is not a great medium for people there. Mm. So yeah, we can, you know, well, we'll, we can point. share this on the Instagram, right? You can put these up right the Yeah, you can make these stories. Can I? All right. Yeah, you can make the second one a story, and then you can make the first one just a regular old post. This should go. Post Malone. Anyways. <laughs> Welcome to How to Kick Flip a Horse, um, our weekly adventure cast where we like to play games. Usually we like to play uh, some lesser known kind of under the radar games. We've been playing Burn Bright, but because we are short Paul, we are going to be delving into 5E, the most obscure of them all this week. <laughs> um, mm. You may have heard of this system. It's called D&D. &D. Um, oh. So anyways, so we are going to be doing that. Uh, we are located now, a little bit of story. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of backdrop. But first, why don't we do a, where are you guys even on this page? Here we go. You're down there. Uh, I don't know if I have like a cool title page that I made for this. Or do I? Check this out. All right, so uh, how to kick flip a horse. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's get started with uh, characters and who we're playing tonight. So first uh, on the left... Uh, it's Bong Chomsky, played by... Hi, I'm Jesse, and I am playing Bong Chomsky. I am a gnome cleric who has abandoned the ways of my life domain hmm. clergy. Yes, I like to sleep. Hmm. I like to sleep. Uh, after that, of course, we've got um, Tommy. Hey, I'm Tommy. I'll be playing uh, Miroslav. Uh, he is a tiefling bard who uh, dabbles in the spirits in the occult, uh, drawing upon spirits to give his allies strength. Yeah, that works. And last but not least, we've got Ivan. Hello, I'm Ivan, and I will be playing Nasky Vom, the half-orc sorcerer. And I am going to hit the microphone like seven times, but my name is do it uh, again. Ari, yeah. and that's what I do. I hit microphones and Dude. pretend I know what I'm doing.
All right, shout out to DJ Yev for that hot intro song, which I do love so much. Oh, I want to tell you guys one more thing before we got started. Mm -hmm. Uh, So twice in the last two weeks, somebody's come up to me and told me that I look like Post Malone. Oh, shit. That's You have better tattoos. (laughs) And and the thing that's like the more worrisome about it, it's like every time it's been prefaced by like, look, I don't mean to be mean or anything. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. They know. Yeah. Cool. If you hit him cool with story. the well, you could have kept that to yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I could have gone am... the rest of the day without thinking about Post Malone. Yeah, no, please. Yeah, I'm too socially awkward. I'm just like, ha ha. Uh, wish I had his bank account, though, right? Right? Bud Light. <laughs> uh, Bud Light. How are you doing? Anyways, uh, so let's. Uh, I'm going to take your pretty little faces back to hell. So let's let me go. get this page ready. And is this it? This is this is the hell, right? This is where we are, right? This is where we last left off. Um, last left off. So, before we get to this particular point, the needle scratches, and you're like, I probably you're probably wondering how I got here. Um, so, there was a group of heroes. We started them off at level nine just to play some fun high level characters, and uh, they got called to a town, but it was a trap. Basically, the town was overtaken by demons and devils, and they were trying to drag the the town to hell with them to expand their domain by bringing pieces of land into it and using that resource. Uh, The crew was able to stop this town from being taken over, but at the price that they are now trapped on the other side... And as they fought through an interdimensional planet or uh, plane... They ended up getting sucked down into hell. You all followed... How's the music? Music good? Mm -hmm. So, after a fierce battle with Pip, the uh, imp that is responsible for... bring you guys here and who you believe is your best chance to get out while fighting him he opened his door into what you believe to be his final domain which is hell and after you came crashing through the rocks landed destroying the last of the bone devils and you find yourself in the middle of a hellscape abandoned as far as the eyes can see you see large pools of lava you see the smell of sulfur just like permeates in the air everything around you just looks burnt and rusted and decayed and just nothing could survive bones riddle the landscape as you look out um but what do you guys want to do um uh perception checks or something like just to take a look around well, you guys were just in a fight, so let's uh, just make sure you all are healed up. Are we and all? I do believe you have used some healed. spell slots as well, so I just want to make sure that we, you know, have an opportunity to do all sorts of different things. Um, if I click on hit dice, is that going to just, like, roll me up d6? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I did use some spells. Like, I mean, I used a fifth level spell and a fourth level spell. Yeah, I used a few spells last time. Oh, okay. So should we just reset to? Are we like? Are we yeah, two sex so, a, a a full rest? Well, I'm gonna say that you all crash down and exhausted. Um, you know, you will need to take a rest. So, what are some of the? Uh, Kind of, uh, what are the things that you do to, to make sure that you have a, a, a smooth rest here, I guess is what we'll say. Sure. The uh, um. Well, we'll decide who takes first watch. Uh, if I were to describe Actually, yeah, everybody, my... give me a per- everybody give me a perception check. Tell um, me I was right. Right. <laughs> All right, let's do a perceptive. Zippies. 
Can uh can can Bong get a a bonus if I lift him up on my shoulders so that he can <laughs> see further? Yeah. Uh, you've also don't forget you've got Gurf Gurf the uh, the ogre with you as well. So uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm the same with that nineteen. Uh, Miro, you see that there are like through everything that's kind of destroyed this landscape. You do find kind of an overhang. It's it's not quite a cave, but it does kind of dip into the uh, the hill above, and it looks like it'd be a good place to to take a rest. Looks like it's quiet and off the beaten path. Um, yeah, uh, come, my friends, uh, this way. And I'll lead him up. Right. I'll follow Mirror Slab. I shall too. All right, you finish uh, your night's rest um, thinking and doing whatever it is that you do. Uh, I'm assuming you all are going to take, uh, take turns throughout the evening, and it's... Uh, ends up being a pretty quiet evening the small kind of animals uh or creatures that did approach during the night Gurf was either able to kind of scare them away with their presence or he would pick a couple up just to take a couple snacks um so you all felt like you got a really great rest um the sun never really goes down here or anything it doesn't get darker and lighter it just kind of gets like hotter and and less hot as the temperature changes Mm -hmm. um so it's hot um so you get up uh what Fine, you perceive cool. to be after a long rest so go ahead and dice yourself up and take that and um you know you go yeah. to uh go to it so everybody give me another perception check so we saw him floating off to the what well, was it the east the north northeast ish uh give me a survival check i can do that 19 baby yeah. yeah you definitely got a view of him uh crossing towards the north it looks like north. it's like some lava to an abandoned kind of uh what used to be a wall but now just stands that gate yeah well i suppose we can just go to that we can start by heading to towards through that gate it's got to go somewhere it's either that or scale some walls and hop over huge pools of lava which i don't know how how well suited any of us are to oh, uh, i think i could handle it <laughs> all right well so that's one of us you want to go ahead and just save the whole world on your own there my man i demonstrate with a, a small hop He's got mad hops. Boy's got hops. Boy's <clears throat> got hops. The hops are undeniable, but still, let's not be hasty. <laughs> I could never, I could never hope to to compare to hops of such caliber, Bong. Uh, just, I think we're we're gonna have to compromise on this one, or you're gonna have to go on your own without us. Okay, I'll go the slow way with you guys. That's All right. Fair. Thank you. Thank you, as always, for your generosity. Let's let's do it. Come on, Gurf. As you let's all go find some meat. On. What's that? That's what? where you were before. Sorry. Now I'm just I'm pulling up the uh, the maps real quick. Give me a second. Sorry. All right. So as you continue on through. Um, Make it pretty decent progress as you continue north. Uh, you can see that everything's surrounded by mountains, and uh, you kind of cut across uh, an area where you see what looks like to be a pretty worn path heading in your direction. Um, give me an investigation check as you approach this uh, road. Okay. Bong did not investigate like nada. Like Tonight, 20, baby! Oh, get it, girl. Wait, that's not okay, an so... Um, no, that's an ad 18. Oh, no, it's not an ad 20. You're right. No, it's that'd be 20. green. Uh, right, so you approach... 30, 20. Uh, so I as you approach not... the road... Yes. I uh, well, Wait, is everyone rolling? Yeah, roll an investigation like if you want. Damn, Miro's nice killing dude. it. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you approach the road, you can see that it is very well-traveled. There are indentations in the ground. 
Uh, they look like carts of sorts have traveled through here recently. Um, and it looks like uh, there's kind of two lanes where things kind of go back and forth. So the road is kind of pretty wide as you continue down it and it keeps expanding. Uh, and uh, it continues off north into the distance. As you kind of come around a bend, you see something that looks extremely out of place. Uh, you come across the bend and you could see those vines that you saw uh, in the monastery, and you could see uh, remnants, very little bits of green and color um, in the distance, almost like the land ahead had been sucked directly out of the material plane and dropped mm. into this um, into this land. You could see the vines have begun to consume it, but you can make out that there's just enough of a difference that it does not belong here. Um, and the road kind of continues... Uh, parallel, perpendicular to that as it continues off into the distance. Um, I guess this is what happens to places where these guys do their little ritual thing and and people like us don't come along and set them straight and, you know, get themselves trapped in hell doing the right thing. <laughs> right. So how do we get rid of them in hell? It's a really good question. It seems like it couldn't, like... I know this is only the first layer of hell, so maybe it's worse for them if we send them to, like, deeper levels. Hmm. The thing is, we gotta not go deeper ourselves, because the, the deeper we go, the harder it is gonna be to, to get back out, right? Probably. Yeah, but I feel like the only way through is up, or, like, to, is through the spot. It, who knows, so. Right, right. This is uh that's like a ancient koan, my man. That's like uh the only yeah. the only way out is through. I, I, right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. You gotta you gotta mind for the for the spiritual. I appreciate that. Does this sulfur smell make anyone else want hard boiled eggs? <laughs> well I always it's been like it's that. been eaten at me since we got here. Uh I mean, so as you all are talking, you hear uh, two distinct noises. One coming from the road ahead, and it sounds like a loud growling over mm -hmm. top of just this growling and just piercing sound. Um, and you also start to hear that there's some noise, almost like um, things running up against each other. Uh, give me a perception check. I'll tell you guys what you hear exactly from both. So you hear something coming from the temple, and you hear something coming up the road. Um, yep, you see... Um, okay, Nask, uh, you definitely can hear that the sound um, coming from the north from the road is getting louder and larger. And from the temple, abandoned temple, you start to hear kind of some movings around, like somebody's banging up against a wall, but kind of like an energetic kind of uh, thing. Dude, give me an arcana check with that 20 perception. Okay, shit. Uh, you you recognize that sound of 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 the something bouncing off of a force field. Like a rune yeah. type of protection, like when like, something bounces like off of it. Over and hear... over again? Yeah, you, well, not in a particular kind of solid sound, but you're... Tsh, 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 tsh. So you keep hearing something, followed by some like moans of some, uh, what you can only assume are some bone devils. Mm. Uh, so it sounds Should like they're hanging into maybe, something. Maybe we should hide in the ditch, quick, get in the ditch beside the road. Everyone hide in the ditch. I'm gonna fall in the ditch. I I run and dive into the ditch, and I I, I, you know, I, I belch for Gurf to follow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need something for that because Gurf is kind well, of on ogre. his own. Yeah, that's true. Or uh, okay. Brother. Yeah, but let's. Uh, he's not gonna quite fit in the ditch. The rest of you, while you Fair. still will have to roll a stealth check to make sure, uh, Gurf would stick out pretty far. I mean, you could still do it. I'm not saying you can't give it a shot and see what Gurf rolls on his stealth, but, uh, you know, I'm going to say you, you, as you run off, you definitely notice that there might be 
a small issue. I and, uh, would like to. So as I dive, as I dive into. Wait, let me check out the text of this real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, this will work. Um. So I would like to use cantrip minor illusion to create a a small wall of rocks i can affect a space up to a five foot cube uh so i would like to just make a small like i would like to make the ditch look a little bit taller where uh where gurf is going to be laying okay uh is there a roll for something like that i guess that would just be uh no i don't think the... so it's just I guess it would just be against it just does it it's a cantrip projection. Um, uh, you can wait a second. Uh, the bu, 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 if a if a creature uses its action to examine the sound or image, the creature can determine that it is an illusion with a successful intelligence investigation check against my spell save DC. Uh, if a creature discerns the illusion for what it is, the illusion becomes faint to the creature. Uh, so my spell save DC is currently sixteen. Uh, and that's only if they roll investigation check. So if we can make it into this ditch fast enough. This ought to work. Right, so uh, why don't you right, give right, me. Then, right. Why don't you give me a. Shit. You know, like a stealth check? Or a. Uh... I'm trying to think, yeah, we could do a stealth check. Stealth or, like, um, well, stealth for you, I'll give everybody else a kind of athletics bonus to kind of jump in. I was going to say, like, time. athletics to dive. Yeah, athletics you, is give actually you better check. than my stealth. <laughs> my well, my dex is zero. <laughs> I'm giving you that because you're kind of casting that spell and kind of making it match with can the I get a no. Can I get a bonus for for using the spell? Sure, I'll give you that. All right. That's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shit. You just needed to get above a ten, which you did. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Now you need to beat. At advantage, it would have been a ten. Okay. What's your spell saving? Sixteen, you said. My spell save is sixteen. Yes. Okay. Uh, off in the distance, as you all throw yourselves into the um, into the ditch, you create this wall. Uh, f around our, the corner and over the hill, you see these two orcs riding along on what can only be described as a two-wheeled wagon as it begins tearing through the desert, kicking up dust. Uh... Because of the loud noise and the grunting that they're making, uh, they give nary a thought to what's going on. They seem to be uh, going off for some very, very important reason at the speed that they're moving as they head away from the... Um, as they head towards you and begin heading away the uh, from the... Uh, what we call it? The, the northern stretch. Oi. Uh, pardon the pun, but what in the literal hell was that? <laughs> My... Could I that was maybe quite a, like a, a knowledge arcana or something to maybe know what it was? Um, or history? Sure. I mean, I think... I yeah, you could do a history check. I could do religion. I was also going to say, yeah, do you think a religion check would be uh, relevant no, at all? No, religion check doesn't to, uh... quite make any sense. I would oh, say history would be the best thing. Hell. Make any sense. Hell. Yeah, but hell isn't a religious necessarily place. Yeah, that's true. As much Depends as it is a place religion. like, well, that'd be like I want to do a Montana check for religion right. because or yeah, Utah. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you know it's, but it's <laughs> the Mormons. Though, there's a uh, there's no uh, knowledge plane skill. In... There is a knowledge plane skill. I do. Yeah, but not like planes, planes. I'm on a plane. The great Air planes. planes. <laughs> yeah, knowledge. Air Knowledge. knowledge the Great Plains. Is there a knowledge um, plane skill? I, I don't see it. I thought there used to be. I don't know if it's on this one. I know it's on... There used to be. I don't think it's in 5e, though. Mm. 
Which is why, uh, I, which is, and the fact that I'm a sorcerer with the religion skill as a class skill is what makes me think that that would be under religion. Right. All right. But that's just I'll one man's opinion. No, it's fine. okay. It. I don't know. I'm I'll not trying to argue. No, let's, let's get this. no I, I, fight, I don't mind. Fight. fight. It makes All sense right. to me. Fight. 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 24, baby. Okay. I don't even so... remember what I was rolling about. <laughs> so you successfully <laughs> pass your bowels. Um, Sick. <laughs> all right. So you remember in your studies talks about oh, that's uh, what it was. vehicles. Um, you have heard that. Um, you know, it's it's basically a two wheeled war machine that the infernal armies would use to invade uh, into different planes. They have all sorts of different types of vehicles that were rumored to be um, to be used, uh, but you just saw one for sure, and it has spiked wheels. You heard the screaming engine, and it's got a... It kind of looks like from a distance, as you see it pass by, almost like a, a, a devil's wing. Um, oh. So you could see that the horns of animals have been used to cover the front as some sort of battering ram, and uh, you know that these things are called Devil's Rides. That's wild. It's kind of badass. I think I speak for everybody when I say, "Fuck that." I don't want to. I don't want to come up against any of those things. Uh, yeah, let's, I have let's no keep, interest in that. Let's keep this strategy of ditch diving in mind if we hear any. Uh, more, uh... <laughs> if. Uh... Do a detect. Well, no, no. What would it be? Um, who's the who's the more druid character? Are you all kind of like what's your I'm background? A sorcerer. I mean, perhaps me. It's kind of live okay. alone. And I'm hobbity. What? Aren't you a cleric? I am. But if you were talking about, yeah, am I a druid? No. The yeah, I mean, druid. yeah, oh, but I meant cleric. Group, I didn't mean druid. Sorry, I didn't mean druid. I meant cleric. Blew. Oh, I'm literally Blew. a cleric. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> um, Is a cleric not a druid of the church? I'm literally the cleric in the picture. <laughs> cleric the, of the woods. My favorite kind cleric. of mushroom. Chicken of the cleric of the woods. Chicken the of the cleric. Of the woods. That's the that's the mushrooms that grow in uh, church steeples. <laughs> yeah, um, they so, suffer water damage. So one thing I should have probably then mentioned, since you are a cleric and I kind of missed it, that when you did come across, you do now realize that this um, what you'd see in the temple that had been taken out was actually um, an abandoned temple of Helios, as oh. you recognize to be a very holy um, kind of place. And uh, you can only assume now with that connection that the sound that you're hearing is some sort of seal that is being attempted to be broken um, off into the distance. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Who some could possibly to want to break place. such a seal okay. here in hell? <laughs> here in God's own hell. In those badlands. The old Badlands. Um, let's, let's do some sheesh. So you can yeah, uh, head let's, north. Let's scout this or out. Or you can inspect yeah. the. Uh, those are, yeah. Or you could head in any other direction. But those are the two kind of main paths set before you. Um. Okay. Um. Uh. I could scout. Uh, I could do some scouting. Uh. Yeah. Probably better than me. I'm too old to scout. Uh, I'll, hang, I'll hang back here with uh, Bong um, and Gurf. Of course. Go ahead and do some do a, do a scout, my man. Mm hmm. I I'm going to scout. Okay, as and... So as you <laughs> climb out from the ditch. Um, you kind of get to the top of this uh, little embankment and you can look down and you can sure see that there is a ruined uh, temple and the ruined village almost connected to it. Like, you know, you see skeletal remains just scattered all across. But what sure does call your attention is that you see 
um, some bearded devils and some imps circling uh, the temple. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me a uh, Persepity. A Persepity Seps? A Persepus. Persepit. Hmm? Persepitate it. You describe them as meandering. Mm hmm. I hate it when they meander. Like. Am I. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. All right, so you can see that, uh, you know, the. Religion roll coming up. 224s. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you yeah, you definitely recognize this place for sure, and you know that with that religion check, that um, these are powers that fight against um, evil. Nice. So if there's anything still surviving there, you feel like it could be used um, in your uh, to help you out to aid you in this battle down here. Okay. Um, so you see that the devil, the two devils and four imps, they kind of rush inside one at a time and then come out um you can hear the imps with the 12 say like i can't get in there and this abyssal kind of talk that they screech at the bearded devils does anybody speak pure abyssal or anything like that i do actually speak abyssal oh badass I are don't. you with him did you go with him i did not nope <laughs> Okay. Write it down. Cool. Write it. Write it down phonetically. Yes. Okay. It sounds like this. <laughs> Is what you hear, Tommy? Oh, that's a tough. Uh, I, I I I relay. Said, he said Raichu. <laughs> he was talking about Raichu from Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. This is an no ominous warning. I'm going to say there's no way to, to understand the abyssal tongue unless you wait. understand it. Oh, wait. Hold on. How about this? Wait. Yeah, or it's like related. Is it, anyways, is it happening? Is it happening constantly? Or is it, it was it just one flash and it just happened? Well, you could kind of see that as one goes in or maybe two at a time go in and they, they come kind of running out uh, looking hurt um, <laughs> and attempting mm -hmm. then... You know, they go back in and try again. So you're not sure what's going on per se, but you know that they kind of come out looking a little bit more beaten than when they first went in. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> They're getting their heads whooped up in there. True. I, well, because I, I have comprehend languages, but I don't know how much we want to get into Ooh. this uh, crazy whisper talk. Um, I'll do it. Well, uh, fine, then I'll cast a uh, first level he have, comprehend. He doesn't have to do the voice. No, no, now he definitely won't have to do the voice. Uh, <laughs> its duration is one hour, and then I'll, like, kind of move about nice. looking, looking for the, uh, the, something to trigger the voice again. Hell yeah. To trigger which voice? So, say again? I'm, I think I might have missed what you're saying. What's that? Like the sound he's, he's, what are you casting? he's doing. Comprehend, comprehend languages. languages and we were oh, just it, saying that you don't you don't have to do what he actually understands in the awful abyssal voice because yeah I'm as like, as you it. get closer um you can hear them saying i we must get in there we must get in there it must we must have it we must have it, have it. hmm uh i'll tell them we're not alone and is it, are they like, is this disembodied voices or can I like hear them? I know this is, a... this is coming from the bearded devils and the imps. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Um, should, should we fuck them up? <laughs> Let's fuck them up. I don't care. Mm. What do you think? We could, uh, I could I'm not in, I'm not inherently opposed, but maybe we, maybe we watch them just a little bit longer. I'm into that. Um, Where did the... At least long enough Whoa. to figure out oh, okay. what, what the hell they're doing. Because if there's something inside that's gradually beating their asses, right. eventually right. they'll come back out and they'll be super easy for us to, to finish beating their asses. But the thing inside might also beat our asses. Mm. You know what I'm saying? More than I'd like to. Yeah, see, so this is why I'm saying maybe a, maybe a cautious approach is the best way to do it. Oh. 
Mm -hmm. Am I missing somebody? I feel like I'm missing. Got somebody. a new map. Uh, I'm there. You're missing Ivan. It was like, I mean, I'm, I'm here. Ivan in my top head. No, they're your fig. Er. Oh yeah, you're right. But I can still see everything. You guys want to play jump over lava? Oh, not everything. <laughs> One, two, three. Yup. Oh, I can't move into the into the darkness. Oh, dude, that's a that's not a good sign. That means that darkness is sentient. Uh oh, it's coming for you. Yeah, you're done, though, but we're done, so. Probably done, so I'm surprised it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's, a tough, it's a tough one. Oh, there yeah. it goes. Uh, uh, all right, dynamic. so yeah. So you could see, uh, like I said, a bunch of destroyed towns that are getting consumed once again by the, uh, the powers that be. Sheesh. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, Not actually rolling up on these guys this hard. But, like, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so they're stuck in this building. This is where, like, the, uh, what is it, the bone devils are in the building? Or the, and the imps are in the Yeah, outside? exactly. You can see these bone devils and imps. They, they fly inside, and then you can kind of see two of them or three of them stay for a while. And they kind of come back out to like recuperate. Um, and once they seem like they're doing well again, they come back out. Um, All in the course of. Going, and I'm going to give this to you because you are, you know, a cleric and you know about this, that there's probably some, some sort of consecrated um, ground that they're trying to walk on or something like that that may be still alive in that mm. temple. Um, you're not sure if it's um, with, with the sound that you hear, which sounds like runes going off, um, was what the assumption is. And it's pretty loud, so you hear like, choo, 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 and then they awesome. come back out. Old loud runes. Mm -hmm. Well, um, not the runes themselves ain't loud, but what uh, them being released. Sure, triggered, sure. Mm. Trigger noises. So, um... I want to use a scary voice on. That's, that's not a terrible idea. I, my thought was, what if... You know, don't, t don't take this the wrong way, Miroslav, but you do look kind of demon-y. Okay, I'm following. And you speak <laughs> abyssal. Uh-huh. So what if you just kind of... What if you just kind of roll up super cash? What's super cash like? Know. Do you guys? You I can cash like, hey, hey, what's up? I live here in hell too. What's <laughs> what's the deal? What are you guys getting up to what's today? We're all we're all just. <laughs> I like this. We're all yeah, just yeah, hell yeah. denizens here. Um, yeah, are, you guys, go, are you guys going to Randy's party later? <laughs> I uh, love this idea. I don't think I can speak it. I can only understand it if it's spoken to uh, me. And but I could cast invisibility on y'all. But I think you're being a tad presumptuous in the tiefling demon jump. But maybe I mean, not. I. It was. I uh, worried that that's how you might feel. <laughs> no, no, I'm, it's not that I'm worried about my feelings, uh, friend. I'm more worried about them seeing through it and killing oh, me. Oh, yeah, well, so, but we're here for it's that. If it, if it comes to that, we'll just kill them instead. Right, yeah. then we are stuck with the, I can only listen and read, but I can't speak. Fair enough. Well, we could just, you could just lead with kill them. I mean, they are devils, so, you know, I hope they don't if, have any redeeming qualities. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe we, maybe we don't even bother the subterfuge. Like, they're, it seems like these guys might just be guys at work, essentially. Like, do we have to, like, are they, like, we're all, like, clearly we're already in hell. That should be enough for these guys, right? Like, oh, our existence is suffering, blah, 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 blah. What are you guys up to? Right. You know what I mean? They're probably chatty. They probably want to chat. They're getting What's hurt, that? hurt by whatever in speak. there, right? 
and they're like coming and out. And maybe they got a quest for us. Like they're going maybe in we there, can getting break hurt the and thing flying that out. Gotten. Yep. Let's just make them stuck in there when they go in. <laughs> just close the doors behind them. Yeah, and then they'll just get fucked up in there. Um. This is a pretty good idea. Yeah, I like that as well. I mean. There's usually like uh, one or there's usually two that stay outside at all times resting. But, you know, for the most part, um, that's what you get going on. And I don't mean to derail the plan if we want to do the. Um, uh, it's, I mean, you know, it was it was just thought um, the fluid plan right now. The, the, the plan is still being uh, still being snatched uh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder, can I use? I'm looking over my uh, spells real quick. Whatever Same. it is, I think like perception check, I'm people. Perception check. Stuff's happening. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. While you guys are choosing stuff, stuff is happening. So everybody, give me a perception Seven check, tang. please. Six. Okay, Miro. Twelve. Did you just roll that from before? No, that was from before. Miroslav, please give me right. your perception check. No worries. There it is. Bam. Wow. Okay. Well, Miro, um, you, I guess you've become kind of trained now that you've heard that noise once. Uh, coming back from the road, you hear that same noise, uh, but you hear it pretty far off in the distance, um, but you hear that, uh, that devil's ride making its way. Um, uh, back up towards you. Huh. Would you believe to be the Devil's Ride? It has the same noise. I don't like it. Yeah, so. do you guys want to... Well, I, I inform everyone of the approaching John. Um, I mean, I can... I think we could do... You can tell one of the creatures reach out above second. So, I mean, I could... Cast a fourth level invisibility, and we could all be invisible. If you guys want to be stealthing about, sure. Start of a big spell, so I'm gonna drop uh, a fourth level invisibility that'll let me get uh, three people. Right, second gets me, third gets you, fourth gets someone else. Yep. All right. Oh, but it doesn't get. Uh, it does not get Gersh, and I. I don't know if I can warrant a fifth level spell for that. I only have one. Too Garthy. And I'm gonna say, yeah, he probably takes a. I don't know if size has anything to do with it, but I kind of feel like it does. I don't know. I mean, I think it's magic, but I feel you. I mean, like the other intangible things, like or tangible things, are gonna be I like. I don't know. Let's see. What level? If we just tell on? tell Gurf to hide in the ruins here. They just remain super still. Yeah. Just hang out, be chill. Um. I mean, I think I could. Nope. I definitely cannot be cool. There's no way that's gonna happen. Oh no. Yeah, just um, a creature too much. Yeah, so I mean, one additional creature for each slot level above second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you cast so, it as a fourth level, as a fourth level, then yeah. yeah. Uh, well, fifth level would get Garth, but there's no sure. way I'm dropping my one. No, don't do that. Uh, you guys are invisible, Garth. Um, kind of goes chilling in the temples. He is kind of hanging out. Uh, yeah, just hang out there, Garth. Pretty good. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I'll, yep. I'll I'll holler real loud if we need you. Allah. Just keep uh, keep an ear out, and then you can you want to you, you think you want to eat some of these dudes? Yeah, check out, uh, check out those imp guys. That. You want to eat them? Uh, yeah, Gurfy. All right, cool. Gurfy cool. dudes. Gurfy yeah, awesome. dudes. Gurfy yeah, dudes. Definitely. Dude, these yeah. aren't like these aren't like proper dudes. These are like half dudes, like little little weird dudes, like from from town. Yeah, no, I I, I like yeah, those. Eat, dudes. eat some little weird dudes. That's legit. All right, cool. Well, we'll. We're let, we're gonna just scope this situation out, and then we're gonna, and then we'll we'll have some 
we'll have some weird dudes for you to eat, bud. Huh? But you gotta just be chill here for until we yell for you. Dig it? Oh yeah, stay here. No awesome. worries. All right, Gurf, you're a cool dude. I like you a lot. It's been it's been chill, <laughs> hanging out and going to hell with you. Why you say that? Like you leave, like no see again? No, I'm just going over here. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. I just, just starts... I, I believe I believe it's important to let your companions know that you appreciate them. Miroslav, Bong, I appreciate you guys as well. Oh, you're such a nice young man. I appreciate you too. <laughs> I hate it when you talk, Bong. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so cool. So you all, I'm going to say, hearing the noise coming, are you also going to take cover to Definitely. kind of avoid being spotted into the ruins? And I'll just say it passes by. With, uh... Oh, yeah, you guys are invisible. Yeah, so it just passes by, just curls through. Um, all right. Cool. All right. Uh, Gurf is playing around. You can see that he's just like, there's a, um, you know, there's still some kind of insects that have survived. So there's like cockroaches oh. and different things that he is kind of going to capture um, and to eat while. Uh, and do it. I'm imagining yep. giant fucking cockroaches that he's picking up with <laughs> two hands and just like. Yeah, they're pretty. Hands. They're pretty fucked up. It looks like the magic from hell has made them all like twisted. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm imagining them as like regular sized, but they're like um, they're like hot. <laughs> they're spicy. Like, like, every, everywhere the, like, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're they're like everywhere they step. There's like a little bit of molten rock. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know. I love That's it. just what I thought. Um, all right. Well, right, let's uh, let's let's utilize this invisibility. Um, I also th uh, I was gonna say, what time are we going to this evening? And would now be a fine spot for a fiver. If we're going yeah, past ten. Yeah, earlier. I mean, I'm good for, for I'm good for ten thirty. But um, I'm down for a fiver. Okay. Okay. Could we That's compromise with like a ten fifteen ish maybe? Yeah, that works for me. I'm with me. Cool. All right. Well, back in just about five. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out, everybody. Hell to the we day, shall return. Cheers.
What up, what up, what up? Hello, hello. Back, y'all. We got a couple minutes before 9.35, according to the sign. Yeah. Just didn't want anyone to feel rushed. But yeah. Hello. How is everyone? I missed you guys. Long time no see. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming to hang out. We love you. Right? We love, love you, them. butts. Mm. They, haven't, they haven't entirely won me over. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. I think our only viewer, a little harder. our only viewer tonight, I think was Fink. So, uh... oh yeah, then hell, a resounding <laughs> yes, then. Oh yeah, Fink. I assume that's who that's... Punctual Pony is. I don't know what his I don't know what his thing is anymore. No, it's it's not. Changes his name all the time. I don't is know who it? Punctual Pony. Punctual Pony. They put a little headbanging emote in there, and I don't know if they're still here or not. But thanks, Punctual Pony. I, I hope you Punctual I hope Pony. you enjoyed whatever part of this you watched. Mm -hmm. And even more the ones you didn't. <laughs> those are those are truly the best parts. <laughs> Schrodinger's best parts of the stream. That's true. You should have heard what you missed. <laughs> wow. One of these days we'll put stuff on the YouTube, figure out how to get my YouTube premium to be the uploaded guy. We can just put the whole stream up on there. Nice. Someday, because I can't figure out, I'm too dumb to figure out how to make other people's uh, Adobe thing work. <laughs> but when I uh, when I was streaming, it just uh, you know just clicked the button and it was like, yep, on YouTube now. Seems fine, right? No. Actual pony says make some day today, so okay, I'm into that. <laughs> Look at that. Let's let's do it after stream. Make some day today now. Damn. Do that today with us. Oh, so are we still waiting for Tompkins? Seems Tompkins. like. Yeah, we still a minute. Tompkins. We're early still. Okay, good. Good early. No you. No, you and you and you. How, how's this for a reduced bong voice? To try to make it not so blood curdling. I think it's great, I, but I also think it's very funny for in universe for the characters to hate bong's voice. <laughs> mm, okay, cool, cool, cool. Perfect. <laughs> I, okay, I assumed that that was coming from you personally. Oh, I mean, I, I I had way less of a problem with the original Bong voice, I think, than anyone. Um, cool. But I do appreciate, like, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I understand not uh, being fully on board for it. Um, no, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a tough thing to do. do. Oh. It slips into the Yoda every now and then, too. I've tried to get <laughs> Are you uh, intentionally doing uh, psychic mind warp voice, Ari? <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> My name is Shivers McTimbers. Oh. Uh, Shivery McTimbery doo. Oh my god. Oh, I really I hope this it. is who's on the other side of these runes. Oh, <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that just be the best? Wouldn't that just be the best? Maybe. The best part of... <laughs> the best part of raiding temple. Uh, they just added feeding, a mixer option. Feeding to imps to your ogre friend. <laughs> what, uh, what, what voice uh, changer thing are you using, Ari? 
Uh, it's a couple VSTs. This one's called Convulsion Easy. What is and a VST? It's a um, virtual sound something. It's a plugin that you add okay. to different apps. Um, and then it's got the pitch corrector, and it's got the Gralian, which is an auto tuner, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. I like I like uh, Convolution because it's got a lot of cool stuff. I use Convolution. Whoa! Hello, That's cool. Child. Give me the convolute. Give me the convolute. <laughs> Hello, my children. Hello, my children. Hey. <laughs> Where's just the little guy down here? I'm just a little guy. <laughs> Help me! I've fallen into a well. <laughs> oh, is that making his voice backwards, Satan? It's a nerve if it's a frame yet. Very wild. This is the voice language for when Tommy talks about like a Yeah, yeah. And I learned the mechanism of this it's awesome. It's really wild. Alright, where is Tommy? That's a good question. Tommy, I'm down here in the well. <laughs> <laughs> I fell into a well waiting for you. I I've been here the entire time. I've been here for like, oh. dang, oh, amazing. No. We've been having fun here. <laughs> like, why wouldn't my little from the to come here? It's from inside the well. It's from inside the well. I don't know how that. Anyways, uh, any right, poop. So that we can carry on. Cool. Yeah, uh, so yes, let's last we left our, our way in here. Um, we can see that, uh, Nam Nasky, um, Nasky Vaughn. approaches. Give me a second. The Nask Man cometh. Whoa! <clears throat> Made it in all <clears throat> caps. When you spell the man's name. Invisible Man. You can tell okay. I'm invisible because I got a little ninja mask on my icon. Oh, I like that. That's right. You can tell I'm dead. <laughs> Bong's been dead the whole time. Oh, He's goddamn reanimated corpse this entire time. Didn't even know it. Knew he was old. I didn't think he was that old. Hmm. Maybe the real uh, so, yeah. Um, while you are invisible, let's not forget that you do still make noises. So if you're going to approach, you will still need to do a stealth check because of the noises that you may make. That will obviously be with advantage because you are invisible. Sure. I'm very, I'm very quiet. All right. So Nasky, you anyway. approach, which is good. Really. Yeah, both. Don't you love it? Um, all right. So... Hold on, I need it. I need our music back on. I can't go back without our music. There we go. I'm, I'm hoping I have advantage for this stuff. You do. You're invisible. You do. Seems like because of heavy armor, thinks otherwise. Well, heavy armor is why he's taking a negative. Is that why? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, as you get closer, you can finally see uh, what's happening. You can see that there, the devils are desperately trying to get to the altar. Mm. 
but there seems to be some sort of un unseen force that's keeping them away. Uh, you can see that there's a skeleton laying in front of the altar, and it is indeed bearing the marks of the sun, Helios. Oh, yeah, Helios. But like carved into it or like wearing it? Wearing robes. I gotcha. The, no, sorry, the altar has the bearings of the uh, oh, I gotcha. of the Helios sun god. Sorry. The skeleton's laying in front of it. And yeah, there's that yellow dome that they're trying to get themselves through, but can't seem to be getting through. Can I do anything to identify what type of magic this dome is? Um, sure. Arcana or religion? Arcana or religion would work. Um, did um, roll a religion before. When I was so trying I'm to I'm just gonna go ahead and say that you recognize this as a uh, a holy ward. Um, however, by the power of it, it looks like it was cast um, by whoever the skeleton was and used every inch of their life force to cast this final spell. But uh, stands to reason this was a pretty pretty powerful dude. So do I gotta use my religious magic at this moment? Can I just like walk through it? Jump through um, that. Yeah, you're pure you're pure of heart and spirit. Yeah, Good a shot. Yeah. Yeah. You can walk through it for sure. Walk on through it and see if I can't uh, not get wrecked. And probably only uh Is anyone else messes can... with uh evil aligned creatures, right? Probably. Yep. Is it like? Is there a weapon? Is there some force that I can? Like, I want to. I want to see what's in there. I just want to. You can see that this is coming from the. Um, let me give a second. You're still doing some invis sneaking, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. We're all in, we're all invisible, as far as I'm aware. Uh, are you still listening to, um, oh, you're still listening to languages. So, um, that's right. So as you get closer, you can hear a little bit more of what is actually going on. Um, it seems that this energy at one point, um, started much stronger, much smaller, and it's kind of begun to grow and they've been sent to, uh, purify, hell from its tainted energy and anybody that can um, clear this energy um, is is awarded something that they're talking about that they want the award and they want the reward for, for getting rid of the tainted patch so they're trying to like so they're trying to also like cleanse hell like this is a starting point of cleansing it well, they, f so from what you understand, well, what, from what Tommy understands is that they think that this is tainting hell's energy and they uh, want to remove it just like you would want to remove, right, just like right, a right. cleric would want to remove an evil energy from, yeah. from a place. They're trying to do the same thing here. A little, uh, poltergeist cleanse. We could do that. I could try using Yon Door to just get us. Ah, you know, I, I like Bong's idea of just try walking through it. Probably only against evil shit. And I don't think Bong is evil. Uh, if that doesn't work, we can yawn, We can try Yon Dooring through it. Yeah. Um, yes. And then if that doesn't work, uh, run, run for it, I guess. None of these imps is that Pim guy, so. Uh, Fuck him. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. This is a, this is clearly a clearly a side quest. Let's fuck yeah. him up. Um, but you, you... Always fuck him up too. Just a couple of ninth, a uh, handful of ninth level adventurers and their ogre pal. These guys don't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So, final decisions. What's happening? Long's gonna uh, try walking through the thing. 
Uh, if he can't, I'm gonna try yawn dooring through it. He walks through uh, without a problem. Um, the um, the there's a flicker as you pass, which kind of draws the attention to some of the imps as they go to kind of inspect what looked like a temporary hole in it. What's what? Wait, what's going on? What's what's this? What's going on? What's happening here? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, Do I see are we all? Can we move up to? Like, are we? Yeah, that's where I am. I moved all the way up so I could see inside. Okay, I wanna, I wanna try to like get closer to Ivan or to uh, Nasky. All right. So, Jesso, as you enter, you feel kind of a rejuvenating energy. Any type of harm or ill effects that have fallen upon you almost immediately disappear. Um, and uh, you recover any hit points that you may have lost. Um, and, uh, yeah, and you can see that laying in front of you, there is a cleric wearing some robes. And he does have um, some stuff on him, and uh, yeah, and then you could see in the middle there is a little um, kind of um, altar piece with a symbol of Helios. Okay, um, what I would like to examine the cleric. With the stuff, okay. The stuff on him. Do you want me to roll for it or just? Yeah, do me a roll. Uh, investigation check. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, let me nice. know what you got, please. Nice. Show me what I got. <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? 22. 22. Alright, so then... Uh, do 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 I'm so confused. Where has the pieces gone? My, I'm like, I think I'm stuck somewhere in the um, fog of war. You might be. You might have. No, you're over here. Yeah. You're standing in like the big dais that's uh, the big yellow. Yeah, I can't see me. I'm stuck in this fog of war. But I can move. You're me. not. Wait, just move your character token. Okay. So, what? So. Oh, like... weird. Your vision isn't. Your vision isn't changing. Alright, so I dictated uh, by the... So I was just hiding, like, in shadow. You should still be able to see inside that room, like I can see in the... Right. Yeah, my fog in the stream. I think once you go into... It's a one-way thing. Once you're inside, you can't see out. I No, I can't. It's... No, that's not the problem. It's like... What's the problem? The problem is it's coming... Maybe I'll just refresh. The shadow is coming from a perspective as though I'm standing outside of the church, and even if, or whatever it is, and even if I move into it, the shadow doesn't change. Got it. Yeah, so it's just stationary. So I have to take a screenshot of it. It's all good. So. But it's okay, I mean, I, I've got. You know, Okay, uh, so on the cleric, you do see that he is still wearing um, cleric robes, oh, yeah. and he has a ring. Oh, okay. Um, mm. I got a religious check on that ring. You sure can. Yeah, let me religiously check that ring. <laughs> um, oh, I seem to have accidentally closed my character sheet. One second. I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. And then I talk really slow. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Just Thank you. to let you know. Do we? So we know that these uh, denizens oh, inside. Unless I have an advantage, and then oh yeah. Sorry, Tommy. No, no, no. I'm flabbergasted by your terrible roll. <laughs> oh, Got him. It's like my strongest stat too. Oof. I hate when that happens. Uh, you do not identify what this. Um, what this ring is um however um what did you roll oh, well, this corpse uh, is wearing jewelry 
Mm-hmm. Yes. So uh, with that one, you. I'm going to say as you go to investigate, the uh, ring falls off the finger of the skeleton Whoa. and um, kind of hits the ground and runs a little bit. And the moment that it hits the ground, uh, the layer uh, disappears and oh, is now shit. open. And you now see a bunch of very happy and angry raging devils and imps heading towards the altar to lay it to waste. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> I fucked up. Oh yeah, th- I think you did good. Oh. Uh, do they see the do they see the ring? Where did the ring roll to? I'd like to scoop it up. Um well where are you? Cause I'm like in the doorway here. Uh, the ring is all the way here by the altar, so right. you're nowhere near the ring. This is like that. Um, There's a skeleton right I'm here. Gonna, I'm gonna hope that Bong has the foresight to grab the ring, and then the I'm gonna right I'm gonna shake off my invisibility. And I'm going to say, gentlemen, we have completed your quest. Uh, and if they don't respond to me saying that in common, I'm going to try it in Draconic, which is the next most exotic uh, language I know. Do they speak Draconic? Let's see. Languages. Um, uh, as you go to Tur, uh, once you become um, visible... Um, it's, yes, you can hear the imp respond to you in cam, in common. Oi, your mission? I'm sorry, who are you? Who are you? Mm. Oh, just a regular, everyday, run-of-the-mill agent of, uh, hell and demon spawn. Uh, my name's Nasky Vom. Uh... We're, we're new here on Mephistes, uh, but we heard that you guys were having some trouble with this here altar uh, that you wanted to destroy. And, uh, you know, uh, I know you devil folk and demons love your deals, so I think this falls <laughs> under a, a deal is a deal. Uh, we, mm-hmm. we fulfilled your mission, and now we get your reward. <laughs> But by all means, by all means, have at the altar. I'm not trying to get in the way of, of that. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't care that much about that. I, I don't think uh, idolatry is the, the with... optimal way of expressing faith, but that's just me. You're very, you're very odd speaking common. There's only one few groups that I know, and the strangest is the Delmos. Are you with the Delmos? Odd. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say cautiously that I'm not necessarily against them, but I would need more information. Well, then you must not be with them. I'm sure you've seen them riding around here in those Oh, the motorcycle that... dudes? Yeah, those guys are yes. cool as hell. We're totally with them. <laughs> <laughs> they uh-huh. tear us area up and come, and I'm not exactly sure I'm very cool with them actually it, but, in they fact, couldn't, but they couldn't get the force field to drop either could they they, <laughs> what they we were like them but we're cooler like mm-hmm. uh, just give me a perception or give me a persuasion check right. I am talking a lot of shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, hey, yeah. what you, I, what I was going to say if you ever shut your mouth the little, hey. little creature is that we do not like those Delmos, and if you have something with them, then we have something against you. Roll initiative. No, 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 I was just talking shit. I was just talking shit. Just some Uh, regular shit talking. Can I I roll the backpedal instead? No, they're they're coming after you. They're, uh, they seem to be very outnumbered. Intimidation. To try and get um, them to stand as they, 
as they approach you, there's uh, two bone devils and four imps. I'm going to say you're going to have to roll really we've fucking well. Like si- we've them. killed like six guys like this in the last... But they don't know that, and they no, only no. see you. Yeah, that's so, fair. That's fair, that's so fair. So they, they see you, uh, a foreign face in a foreign land, um, and the fact that you're speaking common kind of gave that away to begin with. Um, so, All right, I'll just start. Um, I'm going to just start talking complete the most trash in Draconic. Uh, which, whether they understand it or not, it'll... Even if they don't understand it, it'll probably sound weird to them, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be like, all right, I tried to, I tried to be reasonable with you. That's true too. Now you called down the fury of the black dragons. Oh, the my blood, my blood flows with acid, and my spit is poison. Mm-hmm. All right. It'll melt Listen, your somebody. bones into paste. Yes. Then I'm gonna they, drink that um, paste can, and use it for arts and crafts. They uh, back off uh, a little bit uh, timid. Um, you, um, can I cast you a spell have... to make his voice grow as he says it? <laughs> sure. I mean, he rolled a twenty-four, so I'm gonna yeah, say I mean, like, that he kind of nailed that shit. Um, yeah, we don't he. Because you are you are good, yes. That is your alignment, I believe. I am chaotic chaotic neutral. neutral. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yes, scared. they don't smell good on you. Okay, okay. Mm. Hold on here. We don't have to get crazy. What what is it that you want then? If you if you want, we will destroy this altar and you move on. Is this what you're what you're propositioning? Oh, I want the reward for destroying the altar. You guys can do the destroying part if that's what's important to you, but I want the credit. I want an audience with whatever your demonic master is. We're down here looking for a guy. Hell yeah, hoorah! It's my invisible friend. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even know. You don't even know how many yeah, of us there are. We are legion while one of us yet stands. Um, he says, well, not exactly a demonic lord. <laughs> oh, you uh, materials are so, you know so backwards about, here. The job came from the uh, town up north, if that's what you wish to call it, a gathering of different... Uh, there are some of your sorts up there. I think you would definitely find a, a place. And I don't know why I've turned my voice into this, because there's two imps. <laughs> the other imp said, why don't we sounds, just destroy them? Let's just eat them. Sounds pretty No, no, no. <laughs> Anyway, what's this town called? Hellsville. Hellsville? <laughs> Hellsville North, here we come. Right next to Brimstonian. Mm-hmm. Rival town. Mm-hmm. You must go through the Swamp of Despair. Um, Feels like I'm already in it. Despair or that spare? <laughs> Dis or that spare. Spare for you. Um, I'm. Can I try to find that ring? Am I interrupting anything? Um, uh, uh, yeah. In case they attack. Grab that ring. Nice, dude. You can head towards. Yeah, you've you've. Find the ring has gone through a little crack, and you're able to catch it. Um, so they, uh, you can um, give me a perception check too, Bong. While I finish, the gnolls up That's north, the knoll camp, oh. they are the ones who, <laughs> who you need to go talk with. Oh, oh shit! What was that? A double oh, no. one. Your brain explodes. Your eyes, dude, yeah, burn. Crazy, <laughs> Your oh. eyes explode with 
terror as you're no he, longer can see ever he, again. He, beco- he becomes visible, but his PP stays invisible. <laughs> yeah. Oh he can only see things that are like six feet in front of him to like seven <laughs> feet. Everything else is unseeable. You are now Mr. <laughs> Magoo. He's got this very thin, thin slice of reality. Um, so yeah, they um, describe where they're going um, as you're not sure if there's anything in the altar or not. Um, What's your boss's name? We don't have a boss. We are, we are. Who put we you up to what this? We you guys are just down to. here doing this for fun. I mean, not for, you know, for the clout, you know? We do these uh-huh. kind of things, and right, we get well, clout as the good dinner. So here's the thing. As long as uh, we get, uh, you know, this clout for it's what we're, we're really looking for. So if you can offer that to us. All right, but you got to speak say, our names. You got to say cool stuff about me, too. Um, That's true. What you, uh, you gotta, you gotta name? tell, you gotta tell people that, that Nasky Vom, Miroslav Krasnova, and Bong Chomsky aren't to be aren't to be flexed with. Mm-hmm. Then shoot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoot, shoot at least one of them in the face when you tell them. Let me do that when it's more than one guy, though. And we'll know if you don't. We'll definitely know. Yeah, like if we if we roll up in a place and it's just two guys shot, it's gonna be a bummer. If you ever have a bug in your ear, that's us. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. The well, the, the pain in the ass, the monkey in the wrench, the farmer in the dough. Mm-hmm. Very well. Um, the dairy in the airy. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Well, I think. Uh... I think if we'll have at it then, boys, and uh, you all move along, and uh, yep, that's you guys it. scamper oh. off. Enjoy uh, your, they enjoy your time in hell. hell. <laughs> they, oh, see you in you. hell. That's very kind. See you, very kind see you in hell everyone. probably later. At, at, uh, at, what are you doing at, now, Jess? Because they are party. flying towards you at full speed. Um, I guess I'm continuing to look for the ring. I'm hoping that comes up. You found the ring already. Oh, I found you did the, ring the already. I'm gonna put it on and point you just... it at him like I'm fucking Captain Planet. <laughs> now you're still invisible. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. Right? You're, oh, you're still right, invisible. Right, right. They no, don't know no, you're no, there. No, they're I'm they're, they're just, not I'm heading. Just, I just towards... need to leave. Right, right, right. I forgot I was invisible. I, for some reason, I was like, yeah. why the fuck did they just come after me? No, I just need to get out of there and let them fuck the place up. Okay, I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, little, as you um, make your way yeah. out. Um, you could see they begin tearing up the cloth on the skeleton, throwing bones everywhere. You can see through the destruction a wand that they take and they just snap in half and throw into the distance. The sound of potions and 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 bottles and gold melting and oh, no. a bag of holding just gets swallowed up. <laughs> a bag of holding. <laughs> Well, no. The only thing there that was true is there that you do see them destroying some wands and some potions as they tear the altar to bits, and the cloth that was on the um, the cleric as well, yeah. uh, leaving it as a rubble and then flying off. Tell them that the Huggins boys were here. Yeah. Literally just tell them. And, uh, that tell them nasty bomb, Miroslav Krasnova Ooh. and Bong Chomsky were here. Yeah. I know. Um, that was the They're deal. Like, who the fuck is Bong Chomsky? <laughs> they were like, don't even, two don't you. even, fucking, don't even fucking worry about it. <laughs> Remember uh, this, boys. Now you, now Felt- we know this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Felt so the imp flies in front of you, um, and he thanks you. Thank you for uh, for for doing this. Uh, I would stay away from those from the that gang, and if you. Uh, Ever find yourself, oh, you know, the one that we were just talking about, whose name I just put off to the side. I mean, uh, the Dalmos, of course. Oh, gotcha. Uh, But you can find us over at the Fortress of Maki. You seem like a seducible person to our sides. (laughs) So, Fortress of Maki, if you're ever looking for anything. Sympathetic, maybe. 
<laughs> no, no, That's no. Abusable. I am an imp. We like to have games. We like to have fun. And then he turns himself into you. Whoa. He says, look at me. And he flies off. I'm so fun. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't like that at all. No. Super weird. People better not think that guy's me. <laughs> um, shortly after, you hear just gurf in the distance and what's left of the of the oh, structure yeah, one of the walls that was still standing just <laughs> falls and you hear and you see him jumping through with just like a handful of roaches and he's like right. you are you, you are friends hungry uh, and, uh, uh, I'm gonna say yeah you, go for it I, I'll, I'll pity say yes I'm in I mean okay. this is gonna be your best right. source of food Watch the rest of the com rest of my companions eat some hot bugs. Mm, hot bugs. And uh, yeah, you uh, oh, eat some food. You relax. You chill. Um, and uh, I will just uh, tell you, uh, Jesso, that um, the ring that you're holding, because you'll figure it out after a long rest. Um, is in essence a ring of protection oh. uh, however it contains um within it uh the ability to cast a kind of ward that's kind of dome of light that you saw okay. um it could be cast um once a day which uh while using it will heal anybody within that area for 2d6 i'm sorry 2d8 and uh no that's 2d6 and uh it will also protect from from attacks from the outside uh for a certain amount of time i think it only lasts um a certain amount of rounds uh it can be destroyed but these guys just were not smart enough to do it because when it was cast last it was using all their life force so unless you want to use all your life force uh you know so yeah like that Trade hp for duration or something just like that. Yep. It adds HP when you go in. So, like, sure. say it's kind of like a group. It's it's a wondrous item. It's kind of like a group heal plus a divinity thing. So it's just a ring of Helios, uh, ring of protection. So it does also create all the same stuff as a ring of protection, which is you can look up in the uh, in the eye. You gain a plus one bonus to AC saving throws when you wear this ring. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it onto your character sheet. Okay. There, bong. Bong, 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 bong. Bing, bong. All right, it's on there. And instead of ring of protection, I need to make some changes to it. But, uh, yeah, that uh, pretty much brings us to a close. Then I cast Polymorph on all of us. <laughs> True Polymorph. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, right frog, around. Bro. Turn into hero frogs. <laughs> all right, um, well, uh... I'm glad that we took a less offense. I would like to. So I like the only thing I could think of was like blasting all these people with like various. <laughs> uh, Anythings, you know. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, we probably could have blasted them. Blast. But well, anyway, I started maybe, blasting. Maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty restraint happy. Restraint is the better part of valor, right? Right. Especially in hell, you know, we're really trying to set a good example. We are <laughs> literally in hell. There's no reason to make things worse. These guys want to destroy uh, an altar, or whatever. It sucks they poured out some potions but like ninth level adventurers we're we're fine mm -hmm. yeah yeah so so basically what yeah. the ring does for you is this it, it uh, kind of works Whoa. on this right here so channeling your divinity right on oh yeah uh but i've also written in the ring what it does the Still called it the Ring of Protection, but you know what I mean. Okay. But it's basically like channeling your divinity, but it makes it kind of stronger. Um, um, which channel divinity is something that you have anyways. This just kind of amplifies that and leaves it as a, uh, 
Yep. So I use effect from this class. Cool. DC equals your cleric spell save. And um, so basically, you use this, but instead of uh, instead of being kind of like a temporary spell where it'd be over, it kind of holds uh, on your ring. Mm -hmm. So you're That's able cool. to cast it a little bit easier while still being able to cast this channel divinity. So. Get me some yep. So <laughs> don't forget that you've got that. That's important for your um, for being in hell. Your divinity is definitely dope. Mm -hmm. And um, yep. Um, you continue to hear rumbling as you kind of settle down. You see these creatures running off into the distance. Uh, can you give me a perception check? Who's that? Also kind of everybody. everybody. I'm also very Oof. surprised that you all didn't mm -hmm. ask him about Pim. Oh, didn't seem, didn't seem like he'd know him. Uh oh. Yeah, but then I'd have been able to like, oh, you think we all know each other? <laughs> no, right, as a as a half orc, I'm more than familiar with this phenomenon. Yaroslava begins just dancing. Yeah, I know, I'm dancing. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Just dancing. I, got, I brought a sword to the dance floor to cut a rug. Oh damn man. it, man! Cool. Just give me yeah, my uh, stat yeah, modifier. To my, yeah. Should count as a crit. Should critical on anything with two. Critical something. never forget. <laughs> critical never forget. <laughs> knock knock. Right off to uh, <laughs> do you all? Uh, what do you all do? Do you continue on north? Uh, yeah, those think, guys I, flew I off. I think that's the, the only west. thing that really makes any sense. I don't want to follow those other drips. No, no. Let's yeah, forge our own path. Let's just go. North. Um, okay. Find, check so out that as you camp. I don't know. To... Knolls are just big dogs. They'll, they'll be fine. They're they're probably way less as... offensive than most everything else on this plane of hell. Yeah. So as you continue north for a bit, um, you start to go through a mountain pass, um, and uh, well, I don't say you go through it, but ahead of you there is a mountain pass as the mountains begin to get taller and taller. Um, what do you all want to do? It looks like there's a pass between them, their mountains. Then yep. there. What, what, what would be another option? Going around the long way? I don't think so. I'm not yep. Around. You can uh, head back. You can climb I you, up. I know, Bong, you can jump super high, but again, the rest of us can't. So I um, the pass, can the pass is really probably high. Weird. I know, I've seen it. I'm going to do a little but, hop again. So, Have you seen it? It's so, it's it? so impressive every time. The ground trembles when you land. Uh, the might of your presence. Thank you. <laughs> Strong, stout calves. Strong bong. Strong bong. <laughs> <laughs> Strong bong. Love it. Um, yeah, let's do the mountain pass. Uh, let's <laughs> let's keep keep our eyes peeled. Uh, Seems like someone something might be dropping in on us. Maybe we keep it down too to avoid them, such as an avalanche. Hell, hellvalanche might be a real bummer. No bueno. Uh, you start Have making. You, you guys way. ever messed with knolls before? You guys ever seen seen a knoll? I I feel like Miroslav has at least knows what they are. I've heard of a Derek knoll. Is that a person? Hey, it was kind of a sublime situation. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Bradley. Bradley Knoll. Fuck! You nailed it. <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, I'm, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, this is what Knolls look like, by the we way. We all knew what you meant. You have... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that fucking Ogo. Oh, dangle. Holy shit. Looks like, a, um, looks like this. Special needs cats Instagrams I follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you continue your way down the mountain pass, you once again start to hear that rumbling through the uh, canyon echoing, getting closer and closer. As you all scramble to find a place to sit back and try and avoid being seen, you find that these very, very narrow walls are very few places are being offered to hide. So uh, you... Don't have enough time as you see two 
of these devil um, uh, rides uh, come up on you and come to a halt, sending uh, dirt and um, debris flying in every direction as they hockey stop in front yeah, of you. And on curious. there, you see a uh, couple of gnolls who, um, so in each one, no two gnolls in each, and they're like, Looky what we have. Wait, the gnolls are riding the bikes? Yeah. Damn. Oh, these guys are the Dalmos. The best yeah. version of the gnolls. Um. Living their best gnolls. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Alright, so we'll end it there. Uh, that was great. <laughs> you should good, 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 good. <laughs> Shout out to and me. that's the end. Anyway. Learn this bass line one of these days. Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's a sewed group would like to give a thanks and a shout out to Ayeva uh, Yev, our DJ, who made our sweet music. See, mm-hmm. I just jumped into the credits there, Ari. I was sure. it. You I didn't even sure. need a prompt. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we should yeah. stop the stream, so I just decided to go into it and then awkwardly stop do explaining yeah, what do I was it. doing. Um, <laughs> and also, shout out to Brian, who's a sweet artist who made our drawings. Thanks to Ari for putting the game together for us. Ivan for uh, running the Instagram. Woo. And, uh, Paul for moving. Follow us on that Tommy Instagram. For playing. And me for playing. Subscribe to our shit. Mm-hmm. Find us on the things. Find us on all the things. You can do it. Ever tell you guys believe in you. Once? Been on a thing a couple of times. Oh, shit. You fancy pants. <laughs> Alright, good night, everyone. Bye. Thanks for tuning in if you did. Yeah.